pieces lines on it. It's fine. All right, class. Thank you for being here today. We are going to do a phonics yeah. lesson. And phonics is basically what sounds different letters make, right? And when we put a word together, it's like a string of different sounds. Each sound affecting the other. So this is going to help you read. It's going to help you spell. And we're going to focus on some of the more challenging letter combinations and things that maybe you might be having some difficulty with. OK? So let's just twist this table a little bit so you're more facing the whiteboard and facing me. And then you can twist your chair accordingly, OK? Is that good? It's already going. Check it out. See the camera poking up above the laptop? There we have it. All right. So first of all, there are a bunch of different letter combinations that we are going to do. OK? So the first one is going to be this one. TH. What does TH say? And? There's a second one. Yep. So, teeth, tongue underneath the two teeth, and pushing air through. Make that sound. Let's leave that. Okay. And let's make the other sound. It's more of a making a vibrating between your tongue and your two teeth. And so you might be asking, what is it? How do you tell when you say one or the other? Well, it's something you kind of have to memorize. For example, what does this say? Try again. Uh, you can leave it for now. Thin. 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 So thin. that's right? Thin. Not thin. thin. No one ever says, thin. Wow, he is so skinny, he's looking quite thin. They say thin, thin. right? Thin. How about this one, though? There's one letter difference. Thin. What does this say? Thin. Then, yeah. So that one, you do use the vibrating noise. Then. You wouldn't say, so I was walking down the street, and then I saw a bald eagle. No, you'd say, I'm walking down the street, and then I saw a bald eagle. So there's two different ways to use that TH, but they both say what sound? Why do we use our pieces of paper? I'll let you know. You just have them so you're prepared for when the time comes, okay? The time will come. Don't you worry at the end. Okay? I'm going to put it up here for now. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we're going to move on past this one, all right? But why don't you just write that in your composition book, TH? Yep. And then you could write... You can write two, so you're going to remember there's two different ways to say that, okay? Sure enough? Yep, you can write the number two or two, T-W-O. 
two different ways to see pH. sound at a time. Okay? So Trudy's going to say a word, one sound at a time, and I'd like you to try to figure out what that word is. Okay? okay. okay. Once you figure out what the word is and you get a confirmation from Trudy, then you can go ahead and try to write that word on your whiteboard. Okay? Okay. So first of all, we're going to start off with like that, but without a C, it's just a K. S-I-L-K. Good job, good job. Good work. One L. Good work. Okay, Trudy's going to try to say another word now, okay? Okay. Once Addy, you want to S-I, then what's next? L. Don't forget your L. It. Oh. Remember, you don't have to make it a capital. That was just good, just like that. It's in the middle of a sentence. You only need good job. Now, everybody erase. Erase, erase. Okay. Hey. Okay, next word. Wait, what's, it? what's your name again? Trudy. 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 Trudy
I see you drawing. I, I have a special. Oh, come. You made two of them better in a second. Wait, is that how you spell it? White. 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 Wait, we're doing twist, right? Twist. I can't quite pick out the letters in that word. No, that's, no, no, no. This is how you spell it. No, I'm not spelling What are you spelling? What? W-H-A-T. What? W-H-A-T. What? Good question. That's a very common word. So I'll spell it right up here. Just to answer that question right now. What? In person. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Ready for the next one? Yeah. Okay. How about this one? Yeah. It. It. Yes. Very good. Wait, does this have an F? What do you think? Fist. Hey, Rosie, let's write fist, please. Great job, Madison. Great job, Gabriel. Fit is like igloo. So just change your vowel, that's all. No, you're fine. It's a, it's a practice process. That's correct. Good job. You're okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. Sometimes it's hard to use know which vowel to use, and you're just practicing that out of What's the total whose name? Dirty. Can I just talk? Okay, we're gonna do a few more words. Okay. This one's a little bit confusing. There's a silent word in it. T A O Talk. Talk. Oh, I didn't have to spell talk. That's easy. This one is a little different than it sounds. Yes. 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 Yep. Good job, Gabriel. So, T A L K. Talk. When you say talk, when you think talk, when you say talk, think talk. You can't hear the L, but it's spelled there like that. Same with something like stalk. Okay? So, for example, I'm stalking. Or I saw the uh, mountain lion stalking its prey. Stalk. This is also like a bean stalk, right? A stalk to some plant. Except that LK, just like this part of talk. So, but really, it sounds like this. It sounds, this is how it sounds, T-O-C-K, but that's how you would write it. This is like tick-tock goes the clock, and this is like I am going to talk to my friend. Make sense? Some of this stuff you just have to memorize because it actually doesn't make that much sense, right? Feet off the desk, please. Hey, this is, this is not a test. This is just Soft, learning, Eddie. Soft, Please don't worry about it. Oh, he's just chilling there. He's on his back. Okay, we're going to do some new ones now. So, let's put Turdy away for now. He needs to take a little nap. No. I'm going to go inside his shell. He's been a no. little bit exposed for too long. Okay. He kind of looks like a so, Give me a second. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to go over some other consonant blends. We're talking about words like mask, where we're blending the N, S, and K. What does S and K say? Together. Yep. Try it again. As I come around this arrow, why don't you say what it sounds like? Yep, 
Try it again. Watch my hand. Yep, okay, now try this word. Make the sound that I have pointing to. Yeah, nice job. Let's try another one. Okay, I want everyone to have their eyes up on me and their whiteboards down, unless I'm asking you to write something, which I'm not asking you to write something right now. Everyone put your whiteboard down and eyes on me. Thank you. Okay, how about this one? Don't say it all the way yet. We're just going to sound it out first and blend these letters. Task. Task. Yep, now you can say task. Uh, but I'd like you to just go along as I'm going through. Task. Why don't you try that as I go? Nice job. Hey, totally. Hey, Atticus, um, what are you doing under there? It's totally done okay. with his nap yet. No, he's still chilling. Oh. Okay, how about this one? G is this, soft or hard? G, G. G is soft, G is hard. G, which one? G, hard. G, O, O, D, gold. All right, how about this one? Let's move through the sounds of the letters. Please don't say the word yet. Okay, guys, put your pens down. Do not want to see your hand on your pen. In fact, I'll take all this back right now. And Jane, please look up. Hey, I just noticed something. All of the words have O in them. That's a good point, yeah. And you just add, add a letter to them to make it into a mold. So we're going to add a new onset to that rhyme. The rhyme is old, and the onset, let's make one. Can anyone think of one that would make a new word that we haven't done yet? Uh, 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 oh. It's going to sound at the end like old. That's the rhyme is old. No. Mold. 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 Good Mold. job. Yeah. No. So what does that sound start with? Mm. Yeah. Let's yeah. sound it out. Mold. This is called blending sounds. Okay, everyone say it all as one. Mold. Everyone. Ready? Mold. Atticus? Mold. Okay, Rosie? Okay, a little bit louder next time would be great. Okay, good job, people. We're going to move on to a new one. What? How about this one? Is Torty falling? Is Torty waking up soon? Maybe, maybe not. Uh, um, fine. Good job. Um, looks like we have recess in 15 minutes, Jane. Okay, so now we're going to go over some silent letters. Okay? Be nice. Be nice, remember? Focus on being kind today. Most of the time, people aren't trying to annoy you, right? Which is how you take it in. Ready? We're going to go over some silent K words. If you see this word, you have, to, you have to think to yourself, does it make sense to say knock? No. no. What does it make sense to say? Knock. No. No. Oh. What about honey? Yeah, that's the, another one. So the first 
You have to use your brain. That's right, the first word is silent. So would this be kani or ni? Ni. Yeah. Of course. Yeah, you've already said that before. Okay, so let's try to quiet down a little bit. Thank you. I'm not excited. Okay, how about another silent word? What can you think of? Another word with a silent beginning sound. What? No! No! That I know! It could start with a... Yep, no. That's perfect. K N O W. O W. This one actually, the vowel says its name. No, O. Just let you okay. know that no means no. Yeah, exactly. So I, I think you consider this a hard word because you should learn this one by heart. Just like no. The vowel says its name, and it wouldn't normally. Okay? So, k, n, o, leave out the. Because this would be. What does this say now? Now. <laughs> it says now, and that's. The what, is the that's one a more. That makes it say no. Yep, yeah, and it, exactly. That's what tells you it's no. And that's why you have to memorize that this says o in no. And this one says ah. Ow. Now. Which is more normal. Okay? So, a few more silent ones, because you all need to be familiar with these, is G-N. Not just K-N, but G-N. Wait, the G silent this one? That's correct. So, how would you say this? No. Yep. And O says its name. O no. says O because no. it's consonant E. Atticus, Rosie, sit up straight. Sit up straight. If you have a consonant E, an M E, a D E, an L E, the vowel before always says its name, okay? So, but would this be gnome? No. You have to use your common sense and say that must be a silent G. Another no. example. Ready? Write this one down on your whiteboard. I'm getting my ground. Here's the one. Write it down on your whiteboard. When you've written it down, go ahead and look at it and then pronounce it on your own. I made it wrong. I made it wrong. I made it wrong. Nat. 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 Anyone else? Nat. So you're saying that this might be a silent G because it doesn't make sense to say get at? Okay, I think you're right. What is a nat? A type of bug. It's a type of bug, yep. Nice job. Okay, how about this one? Go ahead and write that one down, Atticus. Sign. It's a sign. Why does it say sign and not sign? Because the T is silent. Yep, you kind of have to use your common sense. Sign isn't a word, is it? No. Never heard of it before. That's a nonsense word. Yeah. That means it's not a real word. That's right. So. If it's a sign, so there are a few things. Sometimes these G's are not just at the beginning, right? Sometimes these G's are in the middle or at the end of a word. So you got to be careful. Another one, for example, try to sound that one out. A. Uh, uh, ooh. Try it. A line? A yeah, nice job, Madison. A line. Because the G is silent. Because the G 
he is silent. It I'm doesn't make sense to say a ligand. No. What does a line mean? Yeah. It means to be like there's a stretch of a line. A line? A line is different from a line. A line actually means everything is together and it is streamlined and it is it's organized and it's all happening at the same time. What, how many more minutes tell this video will be over? About five minutes. Okay, ready? If you make it to this point... We're um, going to go over yeah, when a vowel says its name. I rem want to remind you that when you have a consonant E at the end, a vowel says its name. So we're talking about the difference between this word... Go ahead and write that on your whiteboard. Tub. Go ahead and write that on your whiteboard. Uh, what's so special about tub? Well, I'll tell you. So we have tub, right? Which says, go ahead and say it. Tub. Uh, uh. This vowel says uh. Yeah. How about what happens when we do this? Two. Now what does the vowel say? Who? You. It says its name. Cube. Okay? Does that make sense? So all of a sudden, this, the only thing that changed when we added that E is the sound that the vowel makes. The vowel says its name after a consonant E. Okay. Try this one. Why don't you write this one down on your whiteboard? Two. I said write it down, not say it. Okay. But the, Kim. But the thing is, if you add an E at the end, the I and the thing is, it says I. It says its name when you add an E at the end, that's right. So now what does this say? Hi, I, I'm. Nice job. Good work. Little tiny one. Now add an E on your Tim. Make it time. Go ahead. Okay, I got another one for you. Okay, let's blend the sounds. Ready? Plan. Good job. Plan. Okay, if I ask you something, please repeat it. Otherwise, I'd like you to be a little quiet in Hebrew. Okay, so what happens when we turn plan into... Play. The A says its name, right? Plane. Good job. Where is it? Whoa, so small it's microscopic. Okay, this one's a little bit different. What does this say? Nat. How about this now? Nate. Nate. And what do I need to do to make this a name? Put an E up here. Put, put, capitalize the first letter. Capitalize G? No, get rid of the T and replace the T with a L. Capitalize the G. Capitalize the G or capitalize the N now that I've erased the G? Oh, capitalize the A. Yeah, nice job. But the same rules apply, right? Now that I've added an E on the end, the A is the same. So it's not Nat, it is Nate. Nate. Nice job. Oh, I'm sorry, Nate. Not an actual name. How many minutes do we have left? Let's do 
do this one. Just a couple. A little bit more practice. What does that say? Pine. 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 Now what does it say? Pin. Pin. Nice job. Does everyone see that? Atticus? What does that say? What does it say now? What does the I say when the E is at the end? I. I says its name, right? It says name. I'm asking Atticus right now, people. Gabriel? What does the I say? It says its name. So put, put what? Put I. Put I. That make sense, Addy? Okay, we'll try another one. You and me, okay? You and me, right here. How about this one? Atticus, let's do this. What does that say? There's no L. I'm doing this with Atticus right now, Gabriel. What is it? There's no L. Look a little closer. Put and put and mm. What's it say? Pan. Now, if I add an E and the A says its name, what does it say? Try it. You giving up? We're going to try a different one, bud, because that one might be a little bit similar to the one, other one we did. Let's try this one. You got this. Is it a U or an A? Good. Look at my hand.